welcome back to the channel. This is the final installment of trying on everything in my closet. If you've been following along, I've been going through the process of getting rid of everything in my closet by trying them on, going through each piece individually and talking about why I should keep it. Because of this process, I've gotten rid of so much of my stuff that have just been cluttering up my closet. And now my closet is honestly, pretty empty and I'm really excited for this next chapter of my life. This final installment is about my shoes, which I'm really excited about. I have had some of these shoes forever and ever and I'm ready to get rid of them. I've never really been quite sure how to style my outfits fully and I've realized that shoes have a big, big part in that. So I hope in the next chapter of my life, I'm more interested in accessorizing and shoes so that I'm not just focused on literally what's on my chest and pants. It's more about how to fully complete everything. I have a feeling this video is gonna be so long because I have honestly quite a bit of shoes. I've been realizing that there are shoes in the back of my closet that are so rusty and dusty that I really need to get rid of, but I'm going to talk about them. And so let's get through it. First things first, let's talk about sneakers. So I grew up with parents who were very involved with sneakers. So I have quite a few pieces that I have been holding on to because they're near and dear to my heart. A lot of them are at my parents' house right now. So these are the ones that I have in my closet in New York City right now. Let's start with my everyday pair. You can tell they're kind of beat up. These are the New Balance 990s. I got them at the Woodbury Commons outlet, so I got them for pretty cheap. I have pretty small feet, so I can wear children's shoes. These are unfortunately women's shoes. I usually wear like some of the larger size of kids' shoes. These are really comfy. I know like dad sneakers are on their way kind of out, but I love that these just are like kind of sporty and ugly. The big sole makes it really comfortable to wear. I can walk forever and ever and ever in these. I love that the laces are actually kind of ugly and I like to like tie them in kind of an ugly way because it just matches the aesthetic of this. It will bring down any outfit that I wear. So if I wear like a skirt or something that's a little bit too formal, I will wear these sneakers and just to make it a lot more casual, which makes me a lot more comfortable. Earlier I mentioned that I wear children's shoes and this is a pair that I've had that I bought as a children's size. This is the New Balance 574s in this grayish color. It looks pretty brown right now because I have worn them so much. And then on top of that, one time our foster cat got ill on them and I had to like clean them. So the color is not fully there. But again, with the last pair, I like that these are just kind of like chunky and easy to throw on, very, very casual. I think a lot of people like wearing like white shoes as a pair of neutrals but for me gray seems like the best way to throw in neutrals for me i think white when it becomes like not white it gets like gross like i don't like looking at a pair of brown shoes that were once supposed to be white like i would much rather look at a pair of gray shoes that were once like lighter gray and now they're darker gray so it's not as noticeable that they're disgusting because i will wear my shoes till the death and you'll see that here. Like I have a lot of shoes that should be thrown out, but I will not throw them out. When I compare these two New Balances, I will say this pair is a lot more comfortable to wear in terms of walking, but this is nice just to be casual. And I like that these are much, much lighter than this pair. This has been the newest pair in my sneaker rotation. I have not been taking good care of these because I haven't worn them that many times, but they're kind of already getting there. These are from Reebok. I forgot what they're called. I will list them over here. I like that these are pink. They are actually like a darker mauve color and I like that it's just very kind of neutral in terms of being pink. Having pink shoes has been a part of my style for a long time. Like I grew up being that kid that wore pink boots and sneakers to school. And so I will always have a pink pair in my closet. I got these for my birthday for myself because I just feel like they represent my style still. I've gone for like a kind of flatter sole here, but still like wide enough for you to tell that I'm just not super short. I like things with white soles because they get kind of dirty like this, like right now they're kind of going through it. But if I wipe them with a wipe, they will be clean really easily. And in that way, I can wear the sneakers for a long, long time. 
The last pair of sneakers that I have right now are these Nikes. I can't remember the name, but I will put it here. I actually have two of these. I have a white pair at my parents' house and this is like the purple pair that I have here. I bought it one size larger than my foot, so it is kind of big. So it looks unproportional to me, but they do fit quite comfortably. I wore these to Coachella because I know for sure I can walk everywhere and anywhere in these. I have worn these religiously for years and years and they're still kind of holding up. Like they're kind of gross, but they're not to the point where you should toss them. I love the colors on this, like purple and this neon orange. You'd be surprised how many outfits this actually goes with. Like I would wear it with this outfit right now. I just feel like it adds like a very fun pop of color and it gives a lot of personality. This is a very athletic looking shoe and I like that because I know that I'm not an athletic looking person. So having a pair like this really just adds dimension to my outfits. Let's go into boots. This is my first pair. I got these from Urban Outfitters. I really like them because the platform is from the front and the back. So it doesn't feel like I'm wearing too much of a heel. It has zippers on both sides, which I like. It is really comfortable and casual. I will say the only thing I don't like about this is that it's a rounded toe in the front. And I think that makes me look a little bit stubbier than I am. If I were to go back and buy a similar pair of shoes, I would go for this platform chunky heel, but with like a pointier toe, super comfortable. I bought these on like super mega sale and I'm really glad I did because I wear these pretty much every day. They are very easy to throw on. Next pair are these Michael Kors boots. I have had these maybe eight years now and I refuse to give them up. I think that they're just so easy and fun. They are kind of heavy, I'm not gonna lie. I think that the lug sole makes it really heavy, but they are so great. They have withheld everything I've been through. All through my college years, when it would just randomly rain, I would throw these on and they did a great job of keeping kind of in style. Like I'm not gonna lie, rain boots are really hard to stay in style because it goes through trends way more quickly than other boots and I will be keeping them forever until they rip apart, which they won't because I've had them forever and ever and they do not. If I can convince you to make one purchase today, I am going for Doc Martens. These things will last you for the rest of your life. I have worn these, this exact pair, religiously for the past four winters and they still look brand freaking new. I think a lot of the complaints that these shoes have is that they're hard to break in. I never had that issue because I tend to wear uncomfortable shoes as it is. So I don't really care. The leather on this is so, so good. Even the parts where it does crease a little bit, it's quite unnoticeable and it takes a really long time for that to crease. On top of that, I actually really love the yellow accent details. I think that it looks super subtle and adds like a little bit of something, something. The back tab here, classic Doc Martens. After I bought this pair, I've been wanting to buy way, way more. I haven't gotten a chance yet because I'm in between sizes and Doc Martens only does whole number sizes. So I got a six, even though I generally wear like a five and a half. And so it's not that noticeable on boots, but on like sandals and Oxfords, it's been a little bit weird. So I love this brand and I will die on this hill that everybody should own a pair of Doc Martens, whether it's the boot or not. Let's talk about sandals. The first pair that I love are these Tory Burch sandals. I mean, look at how small these are. They are so dainty. I love this like blue denim and then this bow on the top. It does need a little bit of a cleaning and some tender love and care, but I will wear these forever until they rip apart at the toes because they just look so freaking cute on any outfit that I wear. Whether it's just like jeans, throw this on, elevated. Skirts, of course, elevated. It makes my toes look really cute and small. I wish I could show you. There's way too many internet weirdos about feet, so I'm not gonna show you that. But these are the cutest shoes that I have. I love it and I'm really happy that I got them. When I first got them, I wasn't like sure how long they would stay in style, but that was actually seven years ago and I'm still wearing them, so I love these. Every time summer and warm weather comes around, I get so excited to wear these. These Steve Madden's crack me up because 
there was one day that I was wearing them, probably like the second or third day that I had them. And the labels came right off. Like you can see where the label used to be. It came right off because my foot was so sweaty. The thing about Steve Madden's is that they are just a ripoff of every other major label. And I'm okay with that. The thing about trends is that they will come and go. And I think Steve Madden's really just buys into that. And so if you're just looking for a cheaper dupe of whatever brand you're looking at, especially luxury brands, Steve Madden's is the way to go. I really wanted these wedges from a different brand. And then I ended up going with these Steve Madden ones because they were on sale at Urban Outfitters. And they have not disappointed. I will say the quality of these, like they're not gonna last me probably more than the rest of this summer, but I'm happy that I got them because these platforms are really comfortable to wear. I like things that give me a little bit of height. So these wedges are great and they're super casual. I like this neutral beige color. I was choosing between this and black and I'm glad I got this beige color instead of the black because it gives a little bit more of a lighter summery vibe. I think I'm a very Birkenstock type girl. When it comes to my everyday summer outfits, like Birkenstocks are actually quite an important part of my rotation. I've had the original Arizona style for a while and I had to get rid of them because I destroyed them by wearing them to the beach. I do have this style that separates the toe out. I do think this style is a lot cleaner on my foot in particular because I have a very bony kind of looking foot. So these I think look much better than me than their Arizona style. I do like this dark leather. The leather is really, really great. I was watching this TikToker about how they replace the soles of the Birkenstocks every year, but they never replace the leather because the leather is such good quality. I haven't found the need to replace the soles because this cork material is actually quite great. It's very comfortable when I'm running in and out of the house. This is the pair that I reach for. All right, let's talk Crocs. This pair is so, so comfortable. I know I've always wanted Crocs. Like when I was a kid, I had a pair of fake Crocs. And then as an adult, I've wanted a pair. Except the problem that I have is like the original style, it would make my foot sweaty. Like I already know it would make my foot sweaty. So I got this sandal pair. I actually live quite close to a croc store. So when I saw these on sale, I was like, I'm getting it. This seems like my style. It is quite casual. I didn't put any gibbets on it, but I would love to get some. I think that would look really cute. It is really light. It has a little bit of a platform so that I am not like pressed onto the ground. And it is so comfortable. Like I could walk forever and ever in these. In fact, this pair is probably more comfortable than a lot of my sneakers. Speaking of Crocs, I thought I'd show you guys the pair that I wear at home. These Crocs have been through everything with me. Like I've had them for years and years. And in fact, they actually kind of need a clean. And you can see some parts are like fading off. This is a light pair that I got from Amazon. You can see that it's really, really flat. So I'm basically walking on the ground when I wear these, but it is so comfortable. It's like being barefoot, honestly, in your own house. I'm not sure if I would wear these outside ever because they are so flat and thin, but they are great for your indoor house slipper. I am finally done with the series. It's crazy. I'm so happy to say that I am done cleaning out my closet. I've gone through every part. Please go check out the other videos if you haven't seen them, particularly the ones about my tops and my bottoms. Like those took forever to film because I tried on every single piece to make sure that I wanted to keep something. I have been donating a lot of my stuff and it's been great to clean out my closet. In this shoe process, I actually got rid of six pairs that I didn't show you guys because I decided that they've been through it and they just need to go. I'm really happy to have much more space in my closet and not have all this junk lying around and causing a burden. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.